Volkswagen's UP GTI takes pretty much all of the hot hatch purity that marks out the Wolfsburg brand's larger Polo and Golf GTI models and distills it into something smaller and more affordable. There's a perky 115 PS 3 cylinder 1 litre TSI turbo engine, agile handling, light weight and plenty of scope for personalisation. Sounds promising. Some junior shopping rockets require you to thrash the engine to within an inch of its life if you're going to release respectable performance. The UP GTI isn't like that. Uh, the one litre TSI turbo three cylinder power plant beneath the bonnet is a reworked 115 PS version of the 90 PS unit that we've tried in the ordinary UP and like that unit it develops most of its punch in the mid-range. So you won't be thrashing about ramming the rev limiter in the way that you would in some rivals. But that doesn't mean that but this dinkier GTI can't charm you in a different way. Power on and it delivers a fizzy, effervescent feel thanks to sharp throttle response, super lightweight and an engine note that's boosted with surprisingly realistic drama by the stereo speakers. By modern hot hatch standards you're not actually going very fast, uh, rest to 62 takes 8.8 .8 seconds and the top speed at 122 miles an hour isn't much more than your local sales rep's Ford Focus but you quickly forget about that and you adjust to a different brand of performance motoring. You learn to rely on momentum to urge you on from turn to turn rather than wasteful bursts of planet sapping power that you'd normally almost instantly scrub off again at the next bend. Now a car in driving we've got used to needing to hire a track to really explore the limits of what the average modern hot hatch can do. In this case all you need is a lightly traffic stretch of your favourite route back from the school run. On such a road you'll notice that cornering roll is impressively controlled and that's thanks to revised dampers, stiffer springs. Uh, a lowered ride height and a beefed up rear axle. Yet, despite all this and a bespoke set of 17 inch wheels, the ride remains compliant. We would like a little more feel from the steering, but it's pleasantly direct. Our only significant issue lies with the gearbox that was lifted pretty much straight from the ordinary up. The shift ought to have been tuned in the spirit of this car as it has been in some rivals. Uh, this Volkswagen's two key competitors, the Abarth 500 and the Renault Twingo GT, can't match its running cost efficiency though. Uh, this up manages 58.9 mpg on the combined cycle and 110 grams per kilometre of CO2. Volkswagen has been making GTI models for nearly half a century now and has its own immediately distinctive way of subtly differentiating them. The bonnet badge is always bisected by a red stripe just below the GTI badge and the matte black radiator grille is honeycomb patterned. Uh, there is GTI front wheel arch badging, there's rear privacy glass and there's sports suspension that lowers the car by 15 millimetres. The wheels are unique to this model, uh, bespoke 17 inch alloys specially developed by Volkswagen's R division uh, with a reduced offset that delivers this variant's required wider track width. The brand also hopes you'll notice the beefier brake discs which are visible uh, between these shapely spokes. There's nothing that says hot hatch quite as strongly as a set of red calipers is there? Where the Jakara tartan seat trim is another classic GTI reference feature, this red-stitched three-spoke multifunction GTI steering wheel looks great too. The infotainment system comes in a couple of parts, one of them provided by Volkswagen and the other supplied by you. VW's bit lies in the provision of this uh, five inch composition colour screen. Uh, this display works in conjunction with this smartphone docking attachment that sits a touch uncomfortably above the uh, central dashboard module. Click your handset into this, having uh, connected into the USB port behind and downloaded onto it Volkswagen's clever Maps and More app and you'll be able to access features features like navigation, uh, car specific information and the brand's Think Blue Trainer driving efficiency package. The Maps and More app is a pretty sizable one. Uh, you're looking at 216 megabytes for the main app and nearly uh, 900 megs for the UK mapping data. Let's take a seat in the back. Now we can't really see why you wouldn't go for this five door model. It costs hardly any more and it's obviously much more versatile. Once inside though, there are a couple of irritations. First, that you don't get proper side windows, just these glass panes that you can angle out for extra ventilation. And secondly, that there's no opportunity to take a third centrally seated passenger. 
Let's finish with a look at the luggage area. Open the glass tailgate. This has apparently been styled to look like a flat screen TV. And as long as you can lump your stuff over this rather high sill, you'll find 251 litres of space. We can't imagine that Volkswagen will have very much trouble shifting as many up GTI models as it can bring to these shores. British buyers love a small hot hatch with agile handling, a perky feel and a bit of heritage. This car ticks all those boxes emphatically and it'll be a perfect starting point for those who one day aspire to a Golf GTI. A quick hat should be all about the smile it can paint across your face. And this Volkswagen's been engineered to deliver that, just as its Golf predecessor was. Nothing changes.